Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, we have C3, C4 and CAM plants, our photosynthesis, our pathway, side by side. And we are going to be discussing some of the similarities and some of the differences that exist among them. Now, before we get into the details, let us talk about what you are looking at. Now, this green outline here, represents the leaf right and it is the same for c4 and cam so as you can see this column here is c3 or represents c3 plants this column represents c4 plants and this column represents cam plants now what you are seeing within the green outline is what occurs within the leaf right these that you are looking at is within the green outline and this is what occurs within the leaves of each of these pathways. Now, let us first look at C3 and C4 pathway. As you can see, what is common? Mesophyll cell. So, in the C3 plants, the Calvin cycle occurs within the mesophyll cells. And in C4 plants, there's something called spatial separation. So the photosynthesis virtually occurs within two cells, the mesophyll cell and the bundle sheet cells. So part of the photosynthesis process occurs within the mesophyll cell and part occurs within the bundle sheet cells. But as we said earlier, the entire process within C3 plants occurs within the mesophyll cell. Right? So that is one major difference between C3 and C4 plants already. Now another difference is within C3 plants, a 3-carbon compound or 3-carbon molecule is formed. Hence the name C3 plants. And if you want to get more details on that, you could watch my video on C3 pathway or C3 photosynthesis. Now, in C4 plants, a 4-carbon molecule is formed, hence the name C4 plants. So that is another difference. In C3 plants, a 3-carbon molecule is formed. In C4 plants, a 4-carbon molecule is formed. Another difference is we spoke about spatial separation within C4 plants. So what I need to say is that within C4 plants, they exhibit Kranz anatomy and within C3 plants, they do not exhibit Kranz anatomy. And Kranz anatomy is basically talking about the spatial separation of photosynthesis within the leaf. The fact that part occurs within the mesophyll cell and part occurs within the bundle sheet cell. And again, if you want to learn more about C4 pathway, you can check out my other video on that aspect. Now let us look at C3 and CAM plants now. Now, one of the similarity between C3 and CAM plants is that they both operate within the mesophyll cells. Yes, they both operate within the mesophyll cells. However, one of the difference is that C3 plants, as we said, a 3-carbon molecule is formed and in, C, in, and in CAM plants, a 4-carbon molecule is formed. So that is one major difference between C3 and CAM plants. Now, if you look on the CAM plant column or the diagram, you will see a dark spot here representing night and a yellow spot here representing the day. Now what happens is that CAM plants, although everything occurs within the mesophyll cell, part of the process occurs within the night and part occurs within the day. Now I'm going to explain some more about CAM plants, but let us compare C4 with CAM plants first. Now with C4 plants, of course, they form a 4-carbon molecule as we said before, in CAM plants, they also form a 4-carbon molecule. 
However, one of the difference between C4 and CAM plants is CAM plants operate within the mesophyll cell. The Calvin cycle and all the photosynthesis process occurs within the mesophyll cell. However, in C4 plants, as we said before, it occurs, part occurs within the mesophyll cell and part occurs within the bundle sheet cell. Now, if you look closely, the diagrams look similar, right? In terms of the molecules that are formed and the Calvin cycle and so on. However, even though they look similar, C4 plants does the spatial separation between the mesophyll cell and the bundle sheet cell. In CAM plants, it does everything in the mesophyll cell. However, CAM plants does part of it in the night and then the rest in the day. C4 plants does everything during daytime. And that is what makes C4 and CAM plants are partway different. CAM plants cannot open their stomata during the day because of risk of losing too much water. So they wait until in the night, they open their stomata to let through the CO2 as you can see here. They wait until the night to let through the CO2. And then, during the day, that CO2 can be used to create sucrose or sugars for plant growth and development. So that is how they combat high heat or high temperatures. They just do not open their stomata during the day they open them during the night when it is much more cooler and they know that the temperature is low and they won't lose a lot of water but again if you want to know more about camp pathway just check out my other video on camp pathway or photosynthesis so that basically marks how they differ and how they are how they are similar right as I said, just to recap, CG plants, everything basically occurs within the mesophyll cell. The Calvin cycle occurs within the mesophyll cell. In C4 plants, they do spatial separation between the mesophyll cell and the bundle sheet cell. Uh, in CAM plants, they basically create the same compounds as C4 plants, but it is not created in separate cells. It is created within the mesophyll cell. The only difference between C4 and CAM plants where the creation of those molecules are concerned is that CAM plants does part of it within the night and part of it within the day but it is all done within the mesophyll cell of CAM plants. In C4 plants it is done within the mesophyll cell and the bundle sheet cells. So all you have to do is just look on the diagram and you can basically point out some of the similarities and some of the differences you know just by looking this is dark night this is day you do not see that within c4 pathway you see mesophyll cell and bundle sheet cell let bs stand for a bundle sheet that is two separate cells you do not see here you see one cell just the mesophyll cell and again in c3 plants only the mesophyll cell so everything occurs within the mesophyll cells okay so we have come to the end of this video if you have any questions or any comments please put them in the comment section as usual please remember to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again in another video hello now that you're at the end if this video was beneficial to you please consider subscribing to subscribe to my channel please click the red subscribe button and then click the bell icon beside it so that you will be notified whenever I publish a new video. Thank you.